Linda. Brother, welcome. You're here. Thanks, brother. How are you? I'm fine. How was your day? It was okay. Um, did anyone come looking for me? Yes, Auntie Judith. Who? Auntie Judith. Judith? Yes. Where is she? She's inside. I think she's sleeping. But she didn't tell me she was coming. I mean, she was supposed to call me to tell me she was coming to my house. Okay, that's fine. Um, you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Oh, that's fine. Brother, yeah? I won't stay something. Okay. I won't stay that. I'll be going back to school next week. Next week? Yeah. Um... Okay, just um, make a list of the things you need and I'll give you the money to buy them, okay? Okay, brother. Thank right. you. You're welcome. Thank you. Right. What are you doing here? And why didn't you call me before coming? What's this? What? What's this? I am pregnant. Pregnant? How? Choma, you know you really surprised me. When you were making love to me without protection, what, what were you doing? I know we had sex unprotected, but the question is, why did you allow yourself get pregnant? I think the question should be, why did you get me pregnant? See, I'm not here to talk about this with you. Let's just look for a solution. That is what I'm after. All right, you go first. Tell me, what's the solution? What do we do about this? It's pretty simple. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's pretty simple. Come and see my people. Do the necessary things. I mean, marriage. What? You heard me. You must be out of your mind. I didn't understand what she was talking about, so she said she will come by the house later today. Which new friend are we talking about? Come on, sweetie. How many friends do I have? Judith, of course. Take. Oh, that one. Mm -hmm. Always complaining. So what about her this time? I don't know. Okay. Hi, guys. Is everything all right? Huh? Uh, no, all is not well. Right, relax. Calm down. Mm -hmm. Tell me what troubles you. What troubles me? Yep. 
She's pregnant. Pregnant? Who? Who? Hmm? Who? Judith. <laughs> yeah? Is that why you're looking like this? That's good news. Huh? Yeah. Really? Is she your friend? What's wrong with her getting pregnant? No, don't be angry. Don't get, don't look like this. Listen, what I expect you to do right now is to go see her parents and prepare for proper introduction. Exactly. And you should be fast about that because before you know it, people will get to know that she's pregnant. So you have to hurry up. Really? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't do that. I can't marry her. No, she's not what I want. She's more like a, a spent drift. She's very extravagant. She's very... Um... No, I can't marry her. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? But I warned you. I told you. I'm glad that you can now see what I talked about. Well, my dear. You have to deal with it, okay? Excuse me, guys. Please help yourself. Sure. Now listen, man to man, my wife, she's right, mm. okay? Mm. You were the one that said he wanted her to look expensive. Not knowing what tomorrow will become. Not knowing what this relationship will lead to. Now it's about to happen. Marriage. When you get a person buying her expensive shoes, taking her to an expensive restaurant to eat out, what way you thinking? Alright, so I'm here to get your advice as a friend. What? What should I do? Want my advice? Maria. I'm sorry, I can't do that. Are you serious? No, I'm not good now. Well, she just wants you to I guess I've left to marry her. Brother, what is it this morning? You look worried. You left the house early this morning. Won't you go to work? I'm in big trouble. I know. It's written all over you. Talk to your sister. What is it? I don't know how this happened, but Judith is pregnant. <gasps> Why? Why would she allow such a thing to happen to a big girl like her? I have no idea. Okay, what do we do? I have no idea. I am just confused. Speechless. I'm just sitting here like a duck. I just got back from my friend's house. And unfortunately, he, um, he said something outrageous to me. I, I don't even know how to tell you. He suggested something really crazy, and... So, what's the suggestion? <laughs> he suggested I get married to Judith. But that's impossible. I can't marry her. I mean... <sighs> no, I can't marry Judith. 
she's not my type of person listen I, I, I don't mean she's, she's I, I, I'm not God who creates people but I can't marry Judith we're two different people we have two two different lifestyles you know my lifestyle is different from ours and we can't coexist uh, she, she she has a terrible character and I don't see myself putting up with something like that. Brother, if you ask me, I think you should marry her. What? Yes. I know Judith has a bad character, but you should be able to bring her down. After all, you're the man of the house. If not for anything, for the sake of the unborn child. Please. Oh, okay. So you are saying that I get married to Judith, just like my friend and the wife? I think it's a good What is Chuma? He didn't come with you? No, Uncle, he traveled. And this is the girl he wants to marry and ask you to bring her to me. Yes, Uncle. Well, he said he will call me later to discuss with you. My daughter, how are you? I'm fine. You heard what Linda said here about you and my late brother's son, Chuma. Is that what you people discussed? Yes, sir. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I am already carrying his child. Oh. You are already pregnant for him? Oh, yes, sir, I am. <laughs> Linda. Yes, okay. Please, come. Linda. Do you like this girl? Because as long as I'm concerned, I don't like her. Uncle, what do we do? Eh? She's already pregnant for Brother Chun. I, even if she's not a nice person, let's consider the fact that she's already pregnant for Brother. Please, I believe with time, no matter how bad she is, if Brother Chun ends up my her, she will change. Linda, marriage is not like that. Once you have entered, you have entered though. Uncle, don't talk like that. I don't see Judith as a bad person. It's okay. Don't say I didn't want. Uncle, nothing will happen. Don't worry. My daughter, one more question. Where are you from? And who are your parents? Linda, you didn't tell him. Pachuma, I have heard everything you said. And I have discussed with our kinsmen. They said that all the market day will not work. Because our people do not do any occasion on all the market day. Yes, I for there, it's okay. And uh, I should go ahead and prepare our people for the marriage ceremony. Uh, you have to send me money and 10 gallons of uh, palm wine. Yes. Send me huge money and 10 gallons of palm wine. Yeah. That reminds me. Achuma, are you comfortable marrying that girl? Because from what I discovered from her, the marriage will not last. Well, if you are comfortable, there's no problem. You go ahead. Yeah? I'm with you.
Hey babe. Hey, when you're back. Yeah. How are you? I was, I'm great. How was work today? Uh, work was uh, was good. Okay. You okay? I'm great. Where's my sister? Ah, she's busy in the kitchen. Oh, okay. That's good. What are you writing? Um, I'm just trying to make a list of the things we need for our wedding. Oh, okay. Can I see that? Sure, just just hold on. Uh -huh. Yeah. What? <laughs> Are you for real? Yes, yes. <laughs> A wedding gown for one million? Yeah. Five pairs of shoes. Juries, four million in laws, ten million hotel accommodation for your family, seven million mm -hmm. <laughs> honeymoon, ten million. Yes, you know, we have to go to Dubai. <laughs> Makeup, two million. Yes, honey. Professional human hair. Yes, I, I intend to use um Brazilian hair. <laughs> Six million. Yes. <laughs> Judy. Yes, that one that has a frontal. You know how it is now. Judy, have you gone mad? Have you gone crazy? What is wrong with you, honey? A little cheap. Don't worry, I can I can still amend it. Moreover, I understand things are hard. That's why I even came down like this. Yeah, it's more that this wedding gown. I had to go online to do a search, and I, I, I these people they are doing promo. That's how I got this one million. It's even more than this. So honey, ah, come on now, give me some credit. I think I tried. So um, this hair, okay. Judy, wait. You have gone crazy. Because if you're not stuck raving mad, then why should you or why must you buy a wedding gown for a million when you can rent it? Judith, we... Spe speaking about this whole wedding ceremony, I offered to support your people with what I can afford. So, why are you writing ridiculous amounts of money expecting me to... Do you know how much is involved? You want five pairs of shoes. What are you going to do with five pairs of shoes? But honey, you know from church, when I come home from church, I have to change. When I get to reception, I have to change. You know, when I'm going around to greet people, I have to change. You need to shut up. What's wrong with you? you? You think I pick money on the brow? I don't understand. This wedding is just going to happen once in, in my lifetime. So what, what are you saying? No, no seriously, do you know how much is involved? How much is here that you can't even afford? You, you please, honey, don't, don't do this. What is here? Eh? Wedding down, one million, jewelry. Oh, come on now, you can afford this. I don't Take a look at this. Uh -uh. Auntie Judith, I thought I told you to come in before you start making this list. Oh, really? I should have consulted with you before making a list of things I need for my wedding, right? As what? No, as what? As my event planner, right? My friend, give me my list. Judith. Judith! Listen to me. I will cancel this wedding if you do not behave yourself. Have I made myself clear? 
Listen, this whole thing was not my plan from the very beginning. Listen, this whole thing was not my plan. I'm doing this because of my friend and his wife. Judith, for your information, I am doing all of this because of my sister. Okay? It wasn't my original plan. So if you do not behave yourself, I will cancel this wedding. You're marrying because your friend convinced you to. Oh, why are you even sounding as if you're doing me a favor? I am doing you a favor by getting married to you. So please! Ah, what is all this? Listen, don't play with me. I'll cancel this wedding. Don't try me. You you have no right to cancel the wedding. Auntie Judith. Oh, please. Auntie Judith, have you forgotten what you and my brother went through before he accepted to marry you? Listen, let me tell you something. If I were you, I would be reasonable and amend things so that your wedding plans will hold. I am in the kitchen. is really going on. Why is he behaving like this? So he's getting married to me because of his friend. My goodness, see how beautiful you're looking. Um, anyways, I've been in town. I just came to see a friend. Thank you. I came here to buy some things with my husband. Husband? Yes. Are you married now? Oh, yes. Honey, please come and say hi to him. Yes, yes. Hi. Um, you? How are you? Please. My schoolmate and my husband. Um, just like said already, I'm a prince. You're, you're a prince? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, um, a businessman at that. And uh, I deal on importation of goods, do I read, you know, name them. Anything that has to do with gold. Wow. Oh, that's, that's, prince, that's right. Prince, show us the way now. We're interested in this your business. Show you the way is not a problem. If you have interest, I can connect you. Oh, no, 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 no. Bob, uh, <laughs> don't worry about that. We have a wedding to plan, all right? So we don't have money to... To invest in any business no, right now. We don't have today, <laughs> no, we don't. Prince, please, um, I'll discuss with my husband and get back to you. So if you don't mind, can you give me your number, please? Oh, oh that's not a problem. Oh, then let me have your number, I'll give you a call. Oh, okay, that's fine. Mommy, please, can I use my, my phone is in the car. Right. Oh, okay. Do you ready? Okay. Babe, it's raining. We need to go because the roads are going to get flooded. No, just calm down. We are going to go to the police. See how it's looking. Zero zero three four zero. My husband, no, no, don't even worry about it because I know he's going to invest in it. Yes. Prince, look at you. 
Look at you, you're now a big boy. Ah, just look at you. Princey, me, I need to be like you. Eh? I mean, I need to drive my own letters cars, you know. <laughs> Live in my own mansion. <laughs> Wear the letters designer clothes. You know how it is now. <laughs> I'm sure you remember how we used to do it back then in school, right? <laughs> oh, please stop. <laughs> Why are we even talking on the phone? Where are you? Let me come and meet you. Oh, all right. Great. I'll see you soon. All right. <laughs> Bye. Honey. You heard everything I was discussing with Prince. So I want to go and see him so that he will tell me more about the business. Eh? She did. <sighs> so if... Uh... I want to repeat everything you told me. Okay. If I understood you correctly, he used to be your classmate, right? Yes. And you haven't seen him in a while. Yeah. And suddenly, he shows up. Looking all wealthy. Driving big cars. And boom. You want to do business with him. Is that right? But honey, honestly, I don't understand where you're getting at with all of this. Yeah, because I'm surprised. No, but you heard him. He said he's into imposition of so many goods. What so. makes you think that's his type of business? Why do you believe him so much? Why do you trust him? Listen. I don't feel good about this. I don't feel good about your friend. I'm not comfortable about the whole business idea. And to be honest with you, I'm not interested. Honey? Yeah. I don't feel good about it. Honey, can I tell you something? Mm -hmm. In life, you have to take a risk. Because if you don't, you may never know the outcome. You see, this business is going to make us rich. We're richer than most of your friends. So what, what else are we talking about? So please, just allow me to go and see him, okay? I promise you when I get back, I'll, I'll give you all the feedback. I'm sure you Judy, Judy. Oh, Prince, Prince. It's been a very long time. I know. See how beautiful and smart you look. Oh, come on. Thank you. <laughs> You're taking me back to then in school. You know how you used to do it now. Well, please, uh, please, 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 please. I'm now a married woman. Please. Let's pop this thing so we can. Oh, please, please. Business before pleasure. Well, if you say so. Mm -hmm. um, so, tell me about the business. See, Judith. Um, first of all, you see me, Prince. I'm not a big man. You can see from my neck oh, down see. to my waist. I, I, I don't see why people find it difficult to invest in good business when they see one. See, your husband is a very young guy, and um, he has a bright future. Yes. You ask me, so I think it's best you advise him. Let him invest, so I can import some goods for him. In few time, you don't know me again. I'm you know the prince. Why you talk this one again? And today you know me. I'm only here because you're my friend, and I just want to put you on the line. I've been doing this business ever since I left school. 
Just take a good look at me. Oh, I, I can see that. Take my neck. I can, I can eh? My see. wrist. My ring. These are millions of nerves you're seeing like this. It's not like I'm bragging. I'm just being sincere to you because you're my friend. If you want to count the rich men in this city, I might be on eighth or ninth position. Please. <laughs> That's you? What I'm See, don't even worry yourself. I'm going to try to convince him. Interesting. Eh? Because I'm really interested. Just, just look at you. Please. See, see your risk. Mm -hmm. Easy, easy, oh. easy. It's expensive, you know. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Please. <laughs> Judith, Judith. Why am I even wasting time? Let's have our drinks. I will take you out. Uh, show you some, some of my margins in the city. Please. Please. Have mercy, please have mercy, please have sympathy, please have mercy, Judy Tio, Judy Tio, Judy Tio. Don't be surprised. This is another of my mansions. This one? Yeah, this land as well belongs to me. Please. Um, I'm even thinking of uh, building a car wash here, you know? Please. I told you, Judith, when it comes to money, Prince is the number one. Prince? Yeah. Um, I'm still negotiating with the owner of this particular building, so I intend to demolish it and build another hotel. And... I, I don't know. I don't understand. Like, you want to buy the whole street. Listen, you will understand when you and your husband invest. Please, mm -hmm. no, you have to. Don't worry. I'm going to convince my husband. Let's go. Let's go. I, I, I really don't have much time. I would have shown you another one, but it's okay. Let's go. Please. <laughs> money. I own money. I am not interested. I'm not interested. Trust me. I you don't expect me to give money to a stranger. Just because you used to know him, he used to be your classmate, and uh he's his son to a king. Like that's crazy. Like how can I do that? How? What do you mean? That's, that's a stupid thing to say. Honey, what is your fear? You are scared he might run away with our money? Prince will not do such a thing. He's not that kind of a person. See, he is a prince a son of a king in his community so he will not do that i just want us to give this a trial please you know i remember back then in school he was a treasurer of our school club and there was never a time he was found wanting when it comes to money matters okay 
please, let's just give it a try. Or trust me, nothing, nothing is going to happen to our money. Nothing. Can I ask you a question? What? Let's say we invest in that business. Let's say I give my money to your friend and we don't have money to pay for the wedding. What now happens? The wedding? No, that one can wait. What? It can wait. What can wait? <laughs> the wedding. Trust me, listen. I want us to invest in this business so that we will even make mo so much money for our wedding. Because me, I don't even like all these things you're telling me. I should cut my coat according to my size, I should manage, and all of that. But by the time we invest, we will make so much money that we will have a big wedding. How can't you see? So, right now, I'm not even talking about the wedding because I know once we make it here. <laughs> Honey, our wedding will be the talk of town. Okay? Oh, did I tell you? He took me to his house today. Ah. Honey, you need to see his house. This guy is living in paradise. You need to see his house. So now we're talking about. This kind of a person cannot go away with our money. How can I live with this kind of woman? How can I live? Um, Judith, since you have the cash with you, let's go to the bank so you can pay the money into my account, then I can transfer it to my foreign account. You know, it will make the transaction more easier. Are you sure? Hundred percent. Okay, please, let me, let me just ask you a question. Mm -hmm. So, assuming we transfer this cash into your account today, when are we expecting the goods to arrive? Well, it won't take more than a month. And you and your lovely husband will be swimming in millions. In this case, I'll at least go to the bank and effect a transfer. Right away? Yes. Okay. Please remind, what's your name again? Prince. Okay. Prince. Mr. Prince, before we proceed, I'd like to say something really important to everyone's hearing, including my wife. Um, because of this business, I'll have to put a hold on my wedding. In fact, I'll have to cancel my wedding. That's her decision, actually, not mine. And um, the money I'll be investing is all I have. It's all we have. So, Mr. Prince, if anything, or should anything happen to the money, I'm finished. Uh uh, honey. How can you say a thing like that? You're not going to die. Okay, nothing is going to happen to the money. You see, Prince here, I trust him. I know that uh, nothing will happen to the money, so please don't even say that. Father, whatever we are giving to him is nothing compared to the kind of wealth. This guy has a mask. I mean, he cannot do anything with our money, right? Judith, you've been my friend for a very long yes, time. Yes, yes. I just want you and your husband to be wealthy as I am. Thank you. Thank All right? you. I've been in this business for many years now. So, Mr. Chumo, relax. It's well. All right? All right, in that case, I am expecting a transfer today. So once the money hits my account, I'll send it to you. That's lovely. Yeah. All right. I see you guys are in here, so you're about yes. to leave. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Chuma, please, this is for you. No, I don't need it. Thank you. Let's go. Thank you. I, I 
hope everything is fine. Everything is fine, Mr. Prince. Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I will convince him, okay? <laughs> I, I can have it, right? Oh, sure, you can have it. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, I'll be expecting you a lot. No problem. <laughs> Problem. I mean, you've been pressing around as if something happened. What's the problem? Shouldn't I be worried? Judith, it's been two months since I gave your friend my money. Judith, it's been two months since I invested in the business. And up until now, I haven't heard from your friend. I haven't heard about my money. I can't even speak to him on the phone. I dial his number. It doesn't go through. And you don't expect me to be worried? Choma, I, I think you're actually in a hurry. Yes, because recall what Prince told us. He said it would take some time for the goods to arrive. And it's just two months plus and you're already panicking. So that's what I'm saying. Maybe you should just calm oh, really? down. Yes. I shouldn't panic. Do you understand what you're saying? I invested everything. Judith, I invested all I had. And you think I should not be worried? At least, can I speak to him on the phone? Each time I try to call him, his numbers don't go through. At least, I need to speak to someone to know about my business, I invested a lot, I invested a fortune. Honey, I honestly do not know why his numbers are switched off. But I, I know his house. Maybe tomorrow we can stop over and um, know if he's back. Yeah. Well, that's fair enough. But you have to keep dialing that number. Oh, sure. I, I will. I need to hear his voice. He needs to tell us if something bad has happened. At least we need to know. Because you sounded like you really trusted him so much. Judith, yes. I invested everything. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Johnson, I swear, I want her. I want my wife. How many times did I warn you? Judith, how many times did I warn you? Johnson, I told her I was not interested. I told her I sense a foul play. I told her that guy was not genuine. 
but she didn't listen. She insisted. She said, we must do the business because the profit is going to be huge. Now, look at where it has landed me. I have gone from top to bottom. I have gone from 100 to zero. Chuma, why did you tell me before going into business with such person? You would have told me, at least it wouldn't have ended like this. You should know that people are looking for money like it is a do or die affair. Johnson, you don't understand, do you? You don't understand. She is sitting right in front of you. Ask her. I wanted to tell you as a friend. I wanted to seek your advice. But she refused. Yes. She said, I must not tell anyone, including my sister. She said, I must not ruin the business by telling anyone. Now look at me. Now look at where it has landed me. Because of this witch. Judith. So you could keep secret from me. You didn't even tell me, Johnson. You didn't tell my wife, your friend. Now look at where you planned to do with Business collapse. Your wedding cancelled. Now tell me how my wife feel. Your friend. How? How? how oh God. Tell me how she will feel if she hears this. Tell me. Johnson, it's your fault. It is your fault. I said it from the very beginning. I told you this girl was bad luck. I categorically made it clear to everyone that I wasn't interested in her. I said I didn't want to get married to her. I knew we didn't have a future together. Because listen, when you're married as a man and you're, you're not making progress, then your wife has so many questions to answer. This girl is a witch. I told her severally. I told her I was not interested. I told her the guy was fraudulent. You can't trust someone you haven't seen in a while. And because he's your classmate, he used to be your classmate, and he comes back driving big cars, that is why you want to do business with him? Now my life is ruined. What type of faces extravagant and the spaces with no remorse? She don't care at all. Ah, uh, madam, I saw you two days ago. Is there any problem? Are you here again? Who they find? Uh, I'm looking for the owner of this house. Owner of this house? Yes. I will be around. His name is Prince. Prince? Yes. Prince? Yes. What about when you're there? What about the answer, Prince? Persuade you to get this house, the army officer. I know his family, they live for America. I never come back over two years. <laughs> Oga, you don't understand. The, I mean, the owner of this house is slim. He's not. He's Madam, not tall. You are in the wrong place. Oh. Nobody has a place here. I beg you, go run me come here before the security office and meet you here. I will think you don't go like that. You go wrong place. Sorry. Okay, thank you. All right, bye bye. How can I live with this kind of woman? How can I live hey. with her? Hey. 
Hey! I called you because I'd like to tell you something very important. I'm very sure you are aware about the condition of this family. Linda, as I speak with you, things are really, really bad for me. My business has collapsed. I have no savings. Everything is upside down. I was duped. I was duped due to the negligence and greed that Judith displays. Everything has crumbled. It is so unfortunate that we can hardly feel. Brother, I see all these things. But I want you to be strong. If not for anything, for me, your sister. I believe that with God, everything will be fine. Mm. And then you and everyone in this family will be happy again. Thanks a lot for your encouragement, Linda. Like I said, I called you to say something very important to you, which is I'm deeply sorry that I can no longer pay your school fees for now. You have to stop going to school. No, no, brother, you can't say a thing like that. Do you want me to be a university dropout? What do you want people to say, especially that of my friends? I understand you feel very bad. But let me ask you a question. Which is more important to you? Your brother's life or what people would say? type of a thing is this? Eh? Why is it that his number has not been connecting? 
Hey, Prince, I actually thought you are a good person. Why do you want to ruin my marriage and my life? I hope it's not what I'm thinking of. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. I, I don't want to believe you have du duped us. I don't want to believe it. And what, what else do you want him to do? For you to know that he has duped you. I don't understand. What kind of insult is this? I am insulting you because your boyfriend has duped my brother and you plotted it. I mean, can't you see the handwriting on the wall? And did you just what is wrong with you? Why is it that you can never be contented with what you have? You always want to hang your bags where your hands cannot reach. So that you will belong to one of these high class babes that I, I, don't, I don't know. Now you have ruined my brother's life. To the point that we hardly eat one good square meal in this house. Enough. Enough. Enough of your insults, Linda. What did I do wrong? I only saw an opportunity and I advised my husband to invest in it. What did I do wrong? Eh? I only wanted to better our lives. Why, why, would, why would you insult me like this? My insult will never be enough until you call your boyfriend and tell him to return my brother's money. Point of correction. He is not my boyfriend. Let me tell you something. My brother just called me outside there and told me that I have to drop out of school. And he have, if I have to stay in this house without school because of you. You see this whole house. I mean, this whole compound will not accommodate both of us. Call your boyfriend and tell him to return my brother's money. We don't need the goods again. What just happened? Is it me, Judith, that Linda was talking to like that? <laughs> I think... I think I've taken enough. And between both of us, one person must leave. Honestly, Tessie, I am not happy. Yes, no, my brother asked me to drop out of school because of what happened. I told you now. Did you tell? I am so confused. I don't know. I don't even know where to start from. Yes. I'll call you back. Wait now. Where are you going to? Where are you taking your bags to? What kind of question is that? Okay. If you may know, since you have decided that I will not have peace in my husband's house, I have decided to leave so that you can have the whole house to yourself. I'm sure you're happy, right? Wait. I want to ask you something. Is my brother aware of this? Whether he's aware or not, it's none of your business. Just say, you're yeah, not going Linda, anywhere. you are not going anywhere. By the way, where do you think you're going to? Eh? Oh, you have ruined my brother's business and now you want to run away with your bags. <laughs> no, no. You have to sit back here and partake in it. In fact, enjoy with us. Call my brother on the phone and then tell him that you're leaving his house with his unborn child. Linda, you have a phone. Why not call him? Call my brother. I should call him. Yes. And if I don't? Call my brother. Stop me. You have to kill me. You have to kill me. Landlord, please. I beg you in the name of God. Listen, give me some time. I need to run around and raise the money for you. I was duped. A few months ago, and I, 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 I lost everything. I, I'm trying to bounce back, but I need your help. Things are really bad for me. I just need some time so I can raise the money. I need to run around so I can raise the money to give you, please. Mm. Yes, sir. Honestly, don't look at me like I am lying. I am not. Oh, listen, Juma. No one says you are lying. I'm not saying you are lying because I know you are not lying. No problem. Yeah, but I need my money. I need my money. Okay, let me ask you. If I continue listening to all sorts of stories from my tenants, how can I maintain my house? There's no way I can maintain my house. 
The money will not be there for me to you to maintain my house. I understand. Yes, Good. Uh, so okay. Now let me make it easier for you and I. Yeah. Uh, so that uh, you can avoid stress. You are owing me for eight months. Eight months. That's right. Good. Now, run around, raise the money for four months, and pay me. Then use the remaining four months to help yourself out. Uh, um, Mr. Landlord, thank you so much for your kindness. Yeah. But I need some time. I, I just give me some time to pay. Uh, uh, time, like what? Because time is what I don't think I have now. I, I'm looking at two to three months. Hey! You are mad. Something is wrong with you. Oh, you want to live in my house? We are tired for two or three months. No. Look at this. No. Listen, you have to the end of this month to pay me. Let me tell you something. Somebody has already paid two years for this apartment. So, and he's moving in this month. No, no. The end of this no, month. Me, me, Mr. Landlord, it, 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 it is... It's against the law to eject me. You can't eject me. It's against the law? No, it, it's... In my own house. No, you can't just eject me. We, we, there, we have to go through the process. So, remember how, how it used to be? You, you can't just throw me out because I can't afford to pay anything. The issue is, when are you going to pay me this four months I've talked sir, about? Just, just give, before the end of this month. Just give me two months. Two months? Yes, sir. I'm saying before the end of this month, you're saying two sir, months. It, it, it's not possible. Mm, I can't raise that type of money. So, Judith and Linda. I called to tell you the development of things. I just had a meeting with the landlord. Unfortunately, he authoritatively told me that the quit notice given to us expires in six days. In his words, he said, he is giving us till the end of this month to vacate this house. Also, someone else has paid for it. In fact, the person paid for two years. Sorry, I, I don't understand. He sold the house to another person while we are still living in it. I'll repeat myself. So I said, the landlord said we have until the end of this month to leave this house. In other words, our quit notice expires in six days. I don't understand. Why would he collect money from another person when we are still here? No, I, does that even make sense? I don't know how he's going to do it too because we are going nowhere. Let, let me see how the person he collected money from will move into this place. Judy. No, he has no right to do that. No, he has the right to eject us because our rent is expired. He has the right to bring in whoever. Whomever. Do you understand? We are owing. And the quick notice expires in six days because the month ends in six days. So we have to vacate this premises, this house, or face the consequences. We, we are going to get thrown out if I have to explain myself to you since you don't understand what I mean. We are going to get thrown out if we don't leave. But brother, why not beg him to give us some time? I tried. I tried. Linda, I tried my best. I tried to convince him. At some point, he began to look at me like a stupid person. He, he felt I was lying. I, in fact, I, I told him my life history. I told him I was duped. I told him to give me some time to raise the money. He refused. He actually asked me to pay him four months rent. Yeah, and keep the rest. Really? Yes, he said I should pay him for four months and keep the rest. 
Okay, so where are we going if we pack out from this place? You know getting a house in this city is so hard and expensive. Honestly, I have no idea. But I strongly believe God will provide. <sighs> in that case, um, me, I don't know what you, your plans are. But I just want you to know that I'm not ready to move into any face me, I face you yard. Just, just for you to know. Yes. Auntie Judith, we need a bungalow. That's if only you will provide the money. I don't understand. Where is that, that coming from? How about you? Brother, I want to go and start packing my things. Pack it. I want it, I want it. I want it. You have forgotten who you are, forgotten where you came from. Face me, I face you. So just in case you are looking for a house, just make sure you get something similar. Maybe even more than what you already have. That's all I'm saying. Because that face me, I face you, and I hope you are in the house. Please, how do I move from here to a face me, I face you? I've 
I wanted to inform both of you that I want to start driving a taxi. Mm? Yes. Because the wheelbarrow business is giving me too much stress. And fortunately for me, I have found a taxi to drive. I just wanted to inform you. Wow. A taxi and you have gotten one already. Right. <laughs> mm, it's it's okay, I like it. And it's, it's better than pushing a wheelbarrow. Wait, oh, Linda. Are you really supporting your brother in this uh, taxi driving business? Eh? A whole Chuma. The CEO of Chuma Sin Limited. Going to drive a taxi? How? I mean, how will people look at him? The phone call. Is he no better than pushing Rubai? Yeah. No, somehow. Thank God you said former Chumasin Limited. Please, Auntie, allow my brother to hustle, please. At least let me see if God will take him back to his former position, or even better than that. Taxi driver. Okay. Listen. Linda, I'll give you some money to go back to school. 
um, because that's important. Secondly, use some of the money you have saved to buy books and other things you need. By the grace of God, when I start driving my taxi, hopefully I'll make some money to support your education. Thank you so much, brother. God bless you. In that case, I will go to my school next week. At least, let me start from somewhere. That's fine. Another thing is, um, Judith, I, I suggest you start doing something. Sitting at home idle is not good. You need to start doing something. Think of something to do so I can give you some money. You need to support the family as well. There is no problem at all. I am ready to do whatever kind of business you want me to do. But on one condition. That you give me the kind of money I need to start the kind of business I would like to do. Not, <laughs> not anyhow business. Because I'm sure you're not expecting me to do all this petty petty business. Because, except that I mean, I'm not going anywhere. I'll just be here. How can I live with this kind of woman? How can I live? How can I this kind of woman How can I live with her?
Don't put you up. Start. You can't even help me push. Right. Don't get the money. I've checked everything. My car refused to start. My, it refused to start. Can you help me push? Yeah, no, 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 that's not a problem. I'll give you something. I'll give you something. I got you. Give us something. We'll change our mind. Have you said? I, I'm sorry you had to push under the rain. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not fine. I know you are this your guy again. I know. Eh? But why is your master giving you this? Eh? I have told him to bring the money, not eat for more money, bring this engine down. So you could think some certain things. He keep telling me that he will come, he will come, he will come. Up till now, I'm not seeing him. Eh? Why is he suffering you like that? I'm tired. <laughs> I'm since morning, I've been on the road. This car is dead. Completely dead. I don't make anything with this car. The little I made, I gave it to these boys that helped me push. Eh? This car keeps suffering you. The car is bad. You don't want to give me money to fix it. I don't understand. I'm tired. You better run the car. Away. I don't know what to do. I keep telling him, okay now, how can I work with a car that doesn't work? <laughs> eh? How can I do this job with this vehicle is dead? And he said, what's stingy to pay that money? Okay, okay, okay. Look at the other side. See that smoke over there. Uh, you say now, uh, 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 I know now, my car. colleagues, I know. <laughs> so I advise you leave the car or you, you better park the car here for him. Because he's too stingy. Please, my brother, just find a way to fix it so I can work tomorrow. Do you ah, understand? It's all right, but it's I have right. to go to him now to tell him about this situation. Because if not, uh, you ask me to pay for today. No problem, no problem. But meanwhile, now you are going home. Hold for you go pay me. You go to the money. No, no, I have to go and tell him. Let me go and tell him. Please. Please. I thought of you. No, I understand. But I have to quickly rush to his house, tell him the situation of things, so that he doesn't charge me for today. Because if I don't, you, you, he's going to think I walked today and I, I, no I, I, I put the money in my pocket. No problem. How can I live with this kind of woman? How can I live? Madam Judith, well done. Oh, I'm here to collect the money for the bag of salt you bought from me on credit. Mama, 
so soon now. I have not even finished selling the market. See, it's still here. See. Hey. Yes. This is the third time I'm coming here, and you're still giving me nonsense excuses. Must you sell my market for me before you pay me my money? I'm okay, sorry. You know market is slow. I don't uh, even know what uh, is happening. Uh, 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 uh. I want to collect my money now. I want to use it and go to market. Come on, we calm down now. Why are you talking like we are quarreling? Calm down. You are not, oh. But don't make me quarrel. I don't want to quarrel with you. Just go in there, get my money. I want to go to market. That's why I'm asking for more time. Just give me a little time, please. Eh? Maybe come back tomorrow. Hey, hey. Tomorrow? Yes. I cannot wait till tomorrow. Go in there and get my money for me. I don't have the money now. I don't have it. Just give me some time. No, I don't agree. Give me my. Okay. Look at my remaining bag of sales. Where are you going to? I want me to carry my market now. No, we calm down now. We fight it. I, I allow me to carry my market. Wait, wait. I don't think. Wait, I don't let me go in there and carry my market. Oh, wait. Just give me some time. Give me. I will not. Give me my money. No, just calm down. Calm down. Wait, now. Wait, Bobby, why are you like this? I'll call police. So give me my money. Police for bad yes, calls. Yes. Bobby, please, please, please. Give me my money. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Mama, Bobby, wait. Give me my money. Chief. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Chief. Um, Chief, there's a situation. I came to inform you that uh, I didn't make anything today because the car is faulty. What is wrong with you? Are you the only person driving this car? Every day, complete. What is wrong with you? But, but, but what time did that respond? Chief, at about 11 a.m. today. It's not my fault. Ah, very yeah. good. 11 a.m. Yes, sir. All that time you drive, I know that you want to walk, that I want to hustle. By 5 o'clock, you're ready on the road. But you, mm -mm. you're a fine boy. You first clean your face, till maybe around 6. Now, you walk from 6 o'clock. Till 11 o'clock. Where is the money? Give me the money. Chief, I, I'm a hard working man. It, it, the, the, the car just broke down today. Uh -huh. I, and the little money I got, uh, you know, after driving, I, I gave it to the boys that helped push the car to the mechanic. Yeah, chief. You here. That's how you want to steal my money. Every time. I'm not what? a thief, sir. Which mechanic? Sir, your mechanic. My mechanic? Your mechanic. Give me my money. Sir? Give me my khaki! The key is with the mechanic. Good. Now let me make it very clear. Don't ever dream that you're going to drive that taxi again. I'll look for another driver. Sir, I've seen that you're not serious. Sir, but I've been diligent. I've been I've been hard working. Why are you ready with uh, not enough money? Did we have an agreement? But, but, but sir, you, you've not been fair to me. You, you don't give me money to fix the car. The, the, the car would, would break down. We had an agreement. This is how much you're supposed to balance. Any extra you get and maintain the guy. Is it my business? Sir, it's, it's fine. Hey! Also, leave, leave my house. We are done. Bye bye. If you uh, don't want me to work for you anymore, no problem. I don't want to. Again, fine, thank sir. you. Uh, bye bye. Thank you for. Uh, bye bye. Don't thank me. Thank yourself. Bye bye. Okay. Leave my house. Every day, one story or the other. I have a lot to do with money. Now, back from Africa. Bullshit, yeah. Uh, 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 how are you? Okay, uh, Chuma, uh, drop my taxi there. Eh? Okay, when you fix that taxi, in case he comes, I don't give him my key. He's no longer working for me. If you finish working on the taxi, bring it to my house. Eh? I'll give you your money. Okay? Uh huh. Bye bye. All right. What kind, what kind of this? Why, why am I going to get money to, to complete this entire work I'm doing? Is it not from that uh, my business? Why do any other business? Other, other drivers should be coming to balance. I want every day one story. And I'm fine, but and I'll show you. The taxi broke down and stopped working, so I took it to the mechanic. Not again. Eh? But why can't your girl bring out money and put this taxi in order so that it will not be stopping you on the road? He took the car from me. How do you mean he took the car from me? I don't work for him anymore. Hey. Why is today just too bad for both of us? Hey. 
Do you know that my customer came and carried the goods I bought from her on credit? Because I, I, I could not pay her. And now this, your guy took your taxi from you. Why are all these things happening to us? Honestly. Hey, 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 listen, listen, listen. I need some peace of mind. Okay? After all, everything is your fault. I don't understand. How is it my fault? You cost it. How? How did I cost it? I, I don't understand. How? Please get inside. You don't have anything to say. You oh, get please, inside. Please, please. Don't even pour your frustration on me because I didn't cost anything. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? How can I be this kind of Since we got married, it's been from one problem to the other. Eh? What kind of life is this? <laughs> Were you talking to me? Huh? Who else is here? Oh, sorry. I didn't know you were talking to me. Because it is very obvious that you are the cause of our misfortune. Our problems. It is all your fault. Why do you always blame me? Why? That I saw an opportunity and I advised that we should invest so that we'll make money. Money for both of us. And the thing failed. How is that my problem? Uh, because you brought the person who stole from me. You brought the person who rendered me useless. You brought the person who, who destroyed my life. After telling you I wasn't interested in the business, I told you time and time again that I was not comfortable doing that business. But you kept forcing me. Chioma, I never knew that would happen. Yeah. Let's just leave the past and forge ahead. Oh, yes. really? So that huge money I invested is now history. It's now in the past. Thank you. Judith, thank you very much. That's not what I mean. That's not what I mean. Um, I'll suggest you borrow some money. Maybe look for somewhere else and borrow money and start a reasonable business. Because you see this taxi business, it's not okay. Eh? And you can also give me some money so that I can add to my business too. Because uh, I don't like this kind of insult I'm receiving from, from this, my customer. Just think and um, no way we can borrow money from. No way you can borrow money from. So we can put in the business. Judith. Yes. I've just realized that you're possessed with, with evil spirit. How? How? Okay, fine. Let me ask you a question. If I borrow, if I go out now, huh, and borrow some money for your sake. No, no, not for my sake, our sake, both of us. Our sake. Yes. Okay. If I go out and borrow money, how do I pay back the money? <laughs> it's simple. You will invest the money, the money will generate profit, and you use it to pay back. Ah, so you of all people, still telling me about investment. What? Huh? Telling me about investing, you. Yes, borrow. Oh, okay, what about the one I invested? Where is it? What happened to it? That's eh? in the past. Don't ever in your life talk to me about investing again. You must be out of your mind. Just borrow the money first. Borrow, borrow the money first. Please, if you borrow, you give it to me. Then I'll know what to do. Ah, borrow the money first. Please, if he borrows this money now. I'll pay my customer, then that dress. I'll buy that dress, that dress, beautiful. Maybe buy another shoe. No, I'll not buy her now. Oh, honey, just borrow the money first. Please, I have come to ask you to give me some money to support my business. 
You know, the woman I bought goods from on credit, she came last week and collected everything because I could not pay back. Now, even the man that gave my husband taxi to be driving, that one too collected back the taxi. I, I, as I speak with you now, he's jobless. He's not even doing anything. Amara, because he's an unnamed boy. Just touch a little money to support my business, please. Judith, so you are here to ask me for money again. Yeah. What happened to the 300,000 naira I gave you? What? You know and how all the money I've been giving to you. What happened to all the money I've been giving to you? No, 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 no. You don't need to answer that question. Because I can see the money all over your body. Oh, look at your handbag. Look at your shoe, your jewels, your hair. Eh? Look at your makeup. No, eh? okay. If I calculate everything you're putting on on your body, it's close to even more than 300,000 naira. No. Look at the person giving you the money. As simple as. I'm not even wearing it. Nothing. Nothing. No. My dear. I cannot continue wasting. That you should be the one giving me money. No, I'm right. Look at you, big lady. No, don't say Look that. Look at you. Please, don't say that. You see all these things you're seeing now. It's packaging. Packaging. See, my, I'm just packaging myself. So you know how to package yourself. Yes. And they're going to package your business. Hey, please. you package your business. You know how to package yourself. Package your business as well. Please, I don't have money to throw around. Please, please, please don't do this to me. You know you're my last hope. If you tell me to go now, where else do you want me to go? <laughs> I am not your last hope. And like I said before, I cannot continue throwing my money away. Yes. Uh, if I continue doing that, what do you think will happen to my business? Mm -hmm. So please, and I am not your last hope. I am not the only person on this earth. So go elsewhere and beg for money. Please. No, please. please. The one I gave to you, you didn't achieve anything. No. You just go. Just leave. No, no, please. Don't, don't leave and beg me. I am not gone. Please. Please, don't have mercy. This last time. See, I promise you I am going to be prudent. I will not buy any other thing. I'll put everything in my business. Please. 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 Agatha! Yes, sister. Uh, we are ready. We are ready. What is going on? What is the time? Uh, always going late to school. I don't like it. What were you doing inside? Sister, please, we are sorry to happen again. Better. Let's go. Sister, yes. please, if you give me the money, I ask for my hand out. I thought you collected it from your uncle. No, sister. Agatha, you're stressing me. I give you a headache. Sister, I'm sorry. You always collect money from your uncle. Your uncle has money. Yeah. Sister, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Are we now go? It's late. Let's go. What is going on here? Why are you not on your way to school? Why are you always going to school late? Honey, we are already on our way out. Okay. Sorry, Hurry up. Enter the car. I'll be right. I'll be with you soon. I'll be with you soon. Mm -hmm. uh, my friend Shuma called that they will be visiting very soon and they are very important to discuss with us and very, very important. Mm. Yeah. What could that be? I don't know. Till he comes. Maybe he wants to ask for help. Tell your friend Shuma is really suffering. I can see that again. Yes. So, no, 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 no. That's so bad. That's bad. Oh, I went to see my friend. This dress, I haven't seen it before. Oh, you like it? I just bought it. <sighs> yeah, in fact, I bought it two days ago. This dress belongs to you? Yes. How much did you buy it? 
I mean, it's not even expensive, just 15,000 naira. <laughs> you bought this dress for 15,000? Yeah, see, it has to be like. <laughs> you bought this dress for 15,000? Yes. And I'm eating without meat. Hmm? Judith, you have 15,000 to spend on your dress. And you're cooking food without meat. How much is meat sold in the market? Judith, you have the mind to prepare food without meat, but you have money to to buy your dress for 15,000. My daughter was sent out of school because of 7,000. You still haven't paid your rent, but you have 15,000 to spend on yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. Me, I haven't seen anything wrong in what I have done. No. Uh, what is this? This thing is cheap. Do not kill me in this house. Johnson, we've been friends for a very long time. And that's to say, we have come a long way. I don't know where to start. I feel so ashamed of myself. Johnson, my life is upside down. I am no longer that person you used to know. Sometimes I feel like taking my own life. Johnson, I am suffering. Things are bad. And that is why I have come to you with my wife to plead please i beg you and i also beg your wife i need your assistance i need you to help me help me bounce back as i speak with you i'm finished my daughter was sent out of school because i can't afford her fees, her school fees. It is that terrible. And I feel so ashamed of myself because I feel like I'm no longer a man. Please, I need you to help me. I need your help. Chuma, I've heard all you said. I've heard everything you said. I'm so sorry about it. So sorry. Very, very sorry. You are like a brother to me. I can't leave you like this. You know, I can't try it. But, uh, what kind of business would you love to do this time? Um, Johnson, I'd like to go back to my old business. Your old business. Right. Okay. All right, I, Shuma, can you come down to the office tomorrow so I can write a check of 10 million naira for you? Did I hear you right? 10 million. 10 million. Oh, sorry, um, did you say I should come to your office tomorrow? Come to my office tomorrow. And you write a check of 10 million for me? Is that okay? Am I dreaming? Oh, come on, Chuma. You're not dreaming for real. You're like a brother to me. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Madam, thank you so much. Thank your husband for me. Thank you. Thank I, I, I thank both of you. Thank you. I, I appreciate the love. Thank you so much. Johnson, 
God bless you. Thank you so much. You're indeed a good friend. Thank you. Ah, Amaru. My Yoma, thank you so much. In fact, help me thank your husband. Thank you. God bless you. <laughs> it's okay. It's not about um, thanking us. It's about putting the money, 10 million naira, in good use. Mm -hmm. You know what they say? Cut your coat according to your material. Judith, you know what I'm talking about. Amara, what kind of joke is that? I am not joking. Judith, I am not joking. I know what I'm talking about. Because I know you. All the money that I've been giving to you over the years. What did you achieve with it? No, what did you make out of it? Aside buying expensive clothes. Big human hair like bush. Expensive makeup. Expensive jewelry. Handbags. Name it. Eh? Chuma, my advice to you is that you should open your eyes. Shine your eyes. Don't allow your wife here, Judith, to mess you up again. Hmm? Don't allow her to drag you down again. Invest wisely. Use your head. Because if you don't, you will end up here begging again. You will be finished. You will go back to square one. You know what happened before? Amara, Amara, please. Amara, please. What is all this? Eh? I, I don't like the way you're talking to us. If you don't like uh, okay, Mezi. Go and hit your head on the wall. Better still, there's a transformer I, I, outside and close to my house. Please. Go there and I'll Please, please you women, stop this. Oh, oh, this is your thing. Just packaging. Go and help the problem? transformer. Uh, if you don't like what I'm saying, you're the one that put, put your husband in this condition. Uh, telling me you don't like it. Am I saying it so you like it? Am I advising you, man? No, it's okay. I mean, um, your wife uh, is saying the truth. No problem, but I, I just uh, hope she learns from, from what your wife has said. Just keep the 10 million away from her. Invest wisely. That's what I'm saying. If not, she needs to buy another head, clothes, shoes, sure. and bats. What type of woman is this? She serves extravagant and expensive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Since you cashed this money, you've not even rested. Always adding and subtracting, doing one thing or the other. You don't even have time for me anymore. Men and money. <laughs> it's all like money. Can I ask you a question? What? Why are you holding me so tight and putting your hands around my shoulder? Uh -uh. I hope you're not here to make a financial request because you're going to be wasting your time. Come on, honey. Can't I hold my husband again? Eh? Is it not for the better? Mm. See, there's something I want to suggest to you. I hope it is something important because if it's not, don't waste your time. Just hear me out first. Okay, no Okay, honey. You know, people actually think that we are falling to the point that we no longer feed. I want us to put them to shame. You see, this money you collected, I, I want us to use it. Get a, a, a better apartment. Something better than where we are staying. 
buy a car, you know, package well, so that when they see us, they will know that we have arrived. You know now, you go shopping, just change clothes, you know, travel out, snap pictures, post them, so that they will believe us. You know, how about that? Wow. Wow. That's very, very impressive. Oh. I knew you would like it. You're such a good wife. Oh. <laughs> You're carrying one of that. Yes. This is a very brilliant idea. Oh. <laughs> you must be foolish. You must be very stupid. So the witchcraft in you has woken up, right? What? What? Huh? Honey, what? So after ruining my life, you have come back again. My friend, you get out of here. I said, I only suggested. I said, get out of here. You want, you, want, you want to come and bring your bad luck to me again? Fish is really good. Very tasty. Chuma, yeah. The place is cool. You have taste. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And they furnish your food. Very, very expensive. Well, I uh anything worth doing, it's worth doing well. Mm -hmm. Well thanks to you though. <laughs> you and your lovely wife. Here yeah, you yeah. go again, Chuma. <laughs> Here you go again. Please enjoy your meal. Um, uh, there's more in the kitchen. We can always get you. Sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's it's you really love fish. But not really this one. <laughs> so I don't know if there's more in the kitchen. Yeah. More and more. The food is very, very tasty. That's more. <laughs> Thank you, Rita. Thank you, madam. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Rita, how are you? Fine. Alright, is your boss in the office? Yes, Okay, let me see. Yes, manager. Manager. Yes. I, I was in your office yesterday and uh, I need to upset. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I wanted to ask if you approved my loan. Yes. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Manager, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yes. No, no, don't, don't worry. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Uh, my wife? <laughs> She's here. Uh, yes, manager. It's okay, no problem. Till then, till then. All right. Bye for now. All right. Honey, welcome. Thank you. Where are you coming from? Well, I was in the neighborhood. I went to see the person that supplies my prosthetics. Oh. Yes, he his boots arrived, so I went to pick up some cosmetics for myself. I see. So, afterwards, I decided to breeze in and say hello to my baby. <laughs> very thoughts for you, my love. So, what's up with the manager and the loan? Oh, the loan. Uh, baby, I have a lot of demands from my customers. I need to import enough containers of goods. My love, you don't need to get a loan before you can import your goods. You don't get it. The money we're talking about here is huge, huge amount of money. I just, I don't feel good. I mean, I, I, I don't like the idea of getting a loan, but if you insist. My love, listen. Once the goods arrive, I need some save in two, three weeks. I'll kill it dead. Don't worry. You know me. You say so? Yeah. 
You going now, right? Yes, I'll be in my room. Okay, let me drop you off. Aww. Yes, let's see. <laughs> yes, let's see. Uh, Rita, I'm off for today, okay? Nobody comes around, you just need to come tomorrow. Bye. Sir, sir, yeah. the paper she says she brings to office to sir. This is Chief Otumbo's paper, Mr. Frank, I've been trying to reach you. Yes. Wow, good news. So my container is around now, right? I love that. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Say so what? What? They found cocaine and ammunition in my container? I don't get how can they find cocaine and ammunition in my container? They saved my container. Hold on. Listen, I'm looking for me. Somebody help! In my own containers. Who on earth could it be still me? I have finished. I'm finished. My main concern is the huge amount, the loan I took from the bank. Yeah. On earth will I go? I feel like killing myself. Johnson, I, I'm so sorry about this. This is indeed a terrible situation. However, I think we need to calm down and pray because I believe everything will be fine. True, Matry, I understand. How can everything be fine when I'm almost like a dead man? How can everything be okay? How can I pay back all this huge amount, Chima? Tell me. Where will I start from? I'm back to square zero. I intend to see the agent. So we can find ways to help you. Oh, Chuma, you are still not getting this picture. Not when drugs and war ammunitions are involved. I understand. I understand, but there's no harm in trying. How? You did who did I offend? Who did this to us? All my husband's money gone. Even the loan he took from the bank. Gone. You did everything gone. Where do we start from? It's okay. It's okay. Where do we go from here? It's okay. At least for the sake of your children, just try and put yourself together. See the agent. It's okay. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. It is the end of the world for me, oh. It is the end of the world. Hey! So how did it go? Shuma, nothing worked. Nothing worked. I spent all my money, sold everything in the wife's shop. And all the money sank just like that. Just like that. I could not even go close to the custom because I'm scared that it might arrest me. Even my, my clearing agent is telling me that I should forget about my container. That I should forget about my container. Just like that. Just like that. 
that human. I understand how you feel, but I know this is a bad time for you. However, I, I'll be going to China next week. Congratulations, brother. Yeah. When I get back, I'll give you some money to start life again. Sure. You mean you will help me bounce back again? Yeah, I'll help you some money. Thank you so much, brother. Oh, what a relief. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, what a relief. Honey? Yes, love. Something I want us to talk about. I hope there is no problem. No, no, no problem. Just that, uh, in as much as I find it difficult to say, but I need to let it out. You see the way things are going in this house. You are not living well, but you're hoping on God. And uh, sometimes when I look at what our kids, what they eat, I cry. I cry. What I'm trying to say is that, uh, oh, God. And what I'm trying to say is that we we can no longer accommodate your sister Agatha. Talk more, sponsor her education. I'm so sorry to say this. She needs to go. When things turn around for good, she can come back. But for now, you can see things are not going well. Honey, you don't need to be sorry or beg me. I mean, I've been thinking in that direction. Oh. Yes. It's obvious, things are no longer rosy, so she needs to leave. I just, just my mother, I know she'll feel bad. Yeah. But don't worry, I'll handle it. I know how to talk to her. Thank you very much for understanding. I really do appreciate this. I'm so sorry. Uh, please talk to her. Can you call her now and talk to her? Of course, immediately. You're not a stranger in this house. I know that you have noticed that things are not the way they used to be. Things are no longer, things are no longer rosy with us. So please, I want you to go back to the village. Don't worry, I will, I will explain better to Mama. Please. Stop, please. I don't want to go. I equally don't want you to go. I like having you around. But please. Things are no longer rosy. Things are very difficult for us. You have to go, okay? When things get better, you will come back. Please, I want to stay here with you. I don't want to go. Listen, listen. Do this for me as a favor.
Ah. Welcome. Thank you, Mama, for welcome. Thank you. Hey. Mama. So what your sister told me on the phone about the situation is true. <laughs> that they won't be able to sponsor your education again. Mama. I need to see what sister and husband have been passing through all this while. To the extent that they can't even have afford two square meals. I just pray that one day all this will be history. I know that one day. My God will remember my son-in-law. Amen. And he will Amen. stand again like before. Amen. And my God will put his enemies to shame. Amen. Hmm. It's okay. Take your bag inside. Hmm? Okay, Come and help me and finish uh, the yam. Okay, so that you cook and eat. Eh? Okay, or are you too tired to do it? No, Mama, I'll join you. Okay. Okay. What are you doing around here? I went down the street to see a friend of mine and I was on my way when I saw you. What's going on? Why selling of fruits? What happened to your boutique? <sighs> my dear, it's a long story. So I'm going to cut it short. But you are aware of what happened to my husband? Okay. Yeah. So that's why we are in this situation right now. Hmm? He took a loan from the bank to import those goods. The goods arrived and custom discovered had drugs and ammunition inside the container. I'm so sorry about this. Hmm. My day it has not been easy. I had to sell off everything in my boutique. To know if the goods will be released. All to no avail. So we used the money to settle the people that my husband borrowed money from. To add to the loan he took from the bank. So. <laughs> that's why I resorted to selling fruits. So we can keep body and soul together. It has not been easy. It's not easy. If you wanted to arrest my husband. I'm telling you. He escaped. We escaped. It's, it's... I'm so sorry about this. I'm very sorry. What about my brother? Is he aware of this present condition? Of course, yes. He's aware. My husband said uh, he discussed something with him. I don't know what they discussed. He's supposed to do something. After all, it was your husband that made him who he is today. Uh, I believe he will do something. Once he comes back from abroad, he will do something. 
He's a nice person. Moreover, like I said before, he has discussed with my husband. Okay. Okay. No problem. Can you hold on to this money? I don't know how much is it. Please. Linda, you're not giving me money. It's not fair. Just, I want you to take care of yourself and please, your kids. Linda, are you sure? Are you sure you don't need money for yourself? Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay? Just take care of yourself, oh? Yeah. I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. The orange are uh, okay and the canola. This one is beautiful. Wow, thank you so much. They will like get money to buy fear. I know it is more change my pocket to enter Keke. <laughs> anyway, how are the kids? Forgive me, I forgot. They are inside, they are sleeping. But are they eating? Yes, they ate the remaining rice from yesterday. Yes, this rice? Yes. <laughs> okay. So, uh, how is uh, Chuma? I met his wife today. She said that the Chuma will be coming from China next week. Mm. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Yeah, mm. I believe that when he comes, yes. he must surely do something. That was his promise for he traveled. Let me go inside and relax. I'm so tired. Uh, please take this water. Mm. Mm. Honey, I would like to suggest something. What's that? I want us to put your car to good use. You can start like um so that I want you to start car business. Taxi. Honey, do you think that's the best idea? For now, yes. We can use the money we are getting from it to sustain ourselves until your friend Chuma comes back from China. Oh, yes. Yes, you have, you have a point. Uh, tomorrow I'll try it and see how it works. Car people, they make a lot of money. I... Yes, who is it coming? It's open. The door is open. You walk up, sir. Welcome, Mr. Johnson. Uh, see, Mr. Johnson. The time that the bank gave to you to pay back the loan that you collected from the bank has expired. And also, the several letters that were served to you from the bank has also expired. So, the bank has every right to take over this building because it was used as a collateral. So, the only thing that we can do for you now is to go in, pick your clothing. Please. Let's just give us some time. See, see, please, please. please. See, no need for that. Because even if you beg from now to next year, it will not change the action. Uh, 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 so Mr. Johnson, all these things you do not work. Even if you beg from now to God knows when, it won't work. It won't even change any action. Please. Uh, okay, well, what about my car? My car. Can I? See, Mr. Johnson, you can take your car with you because it was not inclusive. What is it? Gender. Gender. Don't just pick only the clothes. Please, hurry up. Nothing more. Please, you have only a few minutes to come out. Hmm. Ah, look at look at this people. Wow. Mm. Tell me. Guess who I saw yesterday? Who? 
I saw Johnson's wife, your best friend. She was selling food in front of their compound. Like, is the condition that bad? My sister, that is what a lot of people have been saying. Of. You see, in this life, eh, it's good to know that no condition is permanent. When she was busy enjoying her husband's money and talking to me anyhow, I'm sure she did not know that the world changes. But what? What do you mean to her? This life, this world that we live in, it changes. Uh -uh. He serves her right. Auntie, is she your best friend? Uh -uh. She is now. Did I say anything that suggests otherwise? She is. Please, don't tell me. Auntie, you're not sounding fair now. You're supposed to pity her. I don't understand. Am I the one that puts her in that condition? Or am I the one that puts them in that condition? No, I don't understand. Did she pity me? Ah, please, Linda, if you want to brush my hair, you brush it in peace. If you don't, just leave me alone. Please. Ha. You can start brushing the hair if you want. I actually like this look in the Ah. Why are you like this? Okay, what is it? Johnson, you're welcome. Okay, what is it? What is it? The bank people ejected us from our house. Ha! Why? What, what happened? Because I couldn't take back the loan I took them from the bank. During the time I caught those seized containers. Why? This is really sad. Sorry, I'm so sorry, sorry. So what what do you want to do now? Yeah, that is why we are here. And my family and I will be staying with you for now until your husband, my very good friend, comes back. You know I discussed something with your husband. Even if he visits us, we can meet to be it. No, uh, Johnson. I'm so sorry. That is not possible. You know my husband is the head of this family and he's not around. And I cannot take such a decision on my own. Yeah, he's somehow. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. I, I, I don't understand what you're saying. What I'm saying is that it is not possible. You cannot stay here. But, but, Judith, wait. I, I, I don't think you heard my husband clearly. He said that the visitor's room or the boys' quarter, anywhere, just... We just want to have a roof over our head. Amara. Anyway, we can manage. Please. Amara, it's like you did not hear me. You see, that boy squatters you're asking for. I have already packed a lot of things in there. And I cannot I cannot just go and start unpacking. Eh? Even the visitor's room. If I give people the visitor's room now and I have a visitor, where will the person stay? Eh? Uh, Moreover. I know that my husband will not be happy that I accommodated strangers in my house. So I'm sorry, it's not it's not possible. Judith. Mm -hmm. So my family and I are strangers to you. Oh, I can't be kind of, please. Can you please just give me a, a, a phone number I used to call him in China so I could at least talk to him? Wow. That is not possible because he already warned me not to give anybody his number because he doesn't um, want any disturbance uh -uh. So, uh, stop now what is it will you shut up Judith uh, what's going on here is this my friend I, I don't, I, what, what's really happening here Judith is this you what uh -huh. do you want to destroy my marriage? It is not possible. I cannot I cannot just take such a decision on my own. You know how it is now. You can continue to it. Please, can you continue? Wait, wait, can you at least accommodate my children? Please. Yes. My husband and I can we can sort ourselves out. Okay, it will be good. Just accommodate my kids. Just, just help me. You are like your kids too. Please. Amara, it's like you did not hear what I said. It is not possible. Eh? We are still saying the same thing. Okay, whether it's your children or yourself, I mean it's the same thing. I'm sorry, it's not possible. You know now, if it's possible, I would have done it for you. Why are you begging and begging? 
It's not possible. Please, you push it. Please, I was watching something. If you don't mind. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 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 Let's go.
this is very serious. But you have to think of what to do. Okay. I'm sure this boy is dead. This boy is certified dead. Uh, Mrs. Johnson, how are you feeling this morning? I'm just... I'm not feeling too far. It's okay. This... This is nice, man. It's not... I'm not joking. Uh, they, they're, they're fine. They're very fine. Yes. But are you sure? Yes, um, I'm sure. Okay, can I speak to any of them? Well, uh, at the moment they yeah, are sleeping, so uh, can you do me a favor, please? Just rest, okay? That's what you need right now. Yes, please. I hear their voice. Or even touch them. Are you taking it to you can touch them? Like I said, they are sleeping. All you need now is rest, please. I can't even rest, Doctor. I, I can feel so much pain. Um, okay, uh, sorry about that. Later on, the nurse will come and administer some painkillers to you, at least to help for the pain. Okay, just take it easy, okay? Mm -hmm. This is the work of our hunters. I want to touch them and hear their voice. See them. Oh, 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 all right. All right. If men we are God in this world, evil thing will be happening. Madumbulu chukune no. Yebebebe buo yago yufulu tumangu. Oya tera buo no. That's your book of money. She never gonna move. She has forgotten when she was naked. She has forgotten where she came from. Just return. Just return the favor. The favor. To the person that's left you back. The person that's left you back. Just return the favor. You did to the one. The person that's left you just return to the person that's You have killed them. Now you are happy, selfish woman. You have killed them. Now you are Selfish people don't consider how their behavior affects others at all, at all. Their own convenience is all that matters for they nobody your own. Confidence. You are very wicked. Judith, you are very wicked. Oh, Judith. Oh, Judith. Oh, Judith. Please have sympathy. Of mercy, 